A dying dog found with multiple bite wounds to her body is believed to have been used as bait in an illegal blood sport before she was probably thrown from a vehicle and dumped. RSPCA officers have launched an investigation after the Chocolate Labrador and Staffordshire Bull Terrier cross dog was found in a horrific state at Riveacre Valley Country Park, off Riveacre Road, in Ellesmere Port. The injuries are consistent with her being used as a bait dog which is an illegal blood sport when other dogs are set on an animal which is either confined or chained. The dogs bite and tear to subdue the opposing animal by incapacitating or killing it. The dog is thought to have been used in an illegal blood sport. A woman was walking in the area with her young son when she came across the female dog, aged about two, on Monday, October 14 at 11 a.m. The dog was at the side of the country road which goes through the park, near the bridge which a stream runs under. She could see the dog was bleeding heavily from her injuries so went back to her car and got a sheet to wrap her in and took her to the nearby Animal Trust vets. Read more veterinary staff tried to save the dog but she sadly died from her awful wounds which a vet has described as the worst she has seen. Paula Fazenda, the vet who treated the dog, said, This poor dog had multiple bite wounds across her body consistent with being attacked by a number of different dogs which suggests she was used as a bait dog. Her body temperature was really cold when she first came in and we worked on warming her up with blankets as we were trying to treat her wounds. Sadly she was bleeding heavily from all over her body and we were unable to save her. The dog is thought to have been used in an illegal blood sport, her paws and nails were also injured in a way suggesting she may have been dragged before she was abandoned or thrown from a vehicle. The vet reported the matter to the RSPCA who have now launched an investigation. Inspector Lisa Lupson is appealing for information to find out who is responsible for this horrific incident. Lisa said, this poor dog had terrible bite wounds which the vet said had come from a number of dogs. This leads us to believe she was used as a bait dog which is a sickening blood sport and sadly she would have been terrified and suffered immensely. The dog also had scuff wounds on her paws which suggest she may have been dragged or thrown from a moving vehicle. She was not microchipped so we are appealing for information from anyone who knows who owned this dog as she does seem quite distinctive. I am also keen to hear from anyone who saw anything suspicious in the area at around the time the dog was found. The dog is thought to have been used in an illegal blood sport. The woman who found her, who does not want to be named, said, My son was playing in the leaves when he came across her. I had no idea she was there as her color blended into the leaves and mud, she also seemed so lifeless and still. When I went to her I could see she was freezing and was bleeding heavily. It looked like she had been attacked by a pack of dogs as there were huge bite wounds across her body. I went back to my car to get a sheet which I use for my dog and wrap her in it and then drove her to the vets. When I got there the sheet was covered in blood and so was I read more, it is so upsetting to think she was left there suffering. It was tough when I found out she passed away but I am glad she had some pain relief and she was with people who cared and were trying to help her. I just hope whoever is responsible is found as this poor dog deserves some justice. Anyone with information should contact the RSPCA appeals line on 0300-123-8018. To help the RSPCA continue rescuing, rehabilitating and rehoming animals in desperate need of care please visit their website. Read more top news stories to receive one WhatsApp message a day with the main headlines from Cheshire Live, as well as breaking news alerts, text news to